What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you are watching Pete Does Keto and Tries to Lose Weight. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe. It's free. Hit the red subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell to all so you don't miss any of my new videos. So with that being said, let's jump into this. So on a keto diet, are you, can, are you supposed to be counting calories? Uh, the answer to that is no. You don't have to count calories. I don't. Um, I watch carbs. I try and keep my carbs between 20 and 50 a day. Sometimes I go more than that. Sometimes I go less than that, depending on how I'm feeling that day. And I'm intermittent fasting, so keep that in mind as well. But can you eat as much as you want? If you're an 18-year-old, probably, okay? Uh, when I was 18, when I was doing keto and Atkins and all that stuff, I would go to my local wing place and I'd order 30 wings and I would eat all 30 wings and I would do this like every day. I'd spend $30, I'd come home from college, I commuted to uh, a community college and I would, on my way home, I would order my 30 wings, I would eat that and that would be all I ate all day long. And uh, it, it worked, it worked. But as I've gotten older, I've noticed when I still try and do that, uh, first off, I probably can't eat the 30 wings like I used to. Maybe I could do 20, 25. Um, eh, who am I kidding? I could probably do it. But whatever the case is, calories do matter. But typically, you will not go over calories because you're just not hungry. Uh, or at least hungry enough to eat that much, you know, where it becomes a problem. Um, I mean, that's really basically it. That's just really what it comes down to. Uh, because when you're using carbohydrates for fuel, uh, you're like, you know, if you're insulin resistant, like I am, you know, being overweight, you, your body keeps craving and craving and craving and you keep eating and eating and eating and you're never satisfied because your receptors are not receiving the insulin properly. And, you know, it's not using the, uh, the energy. It's just not doing it, which is why when you switch to fat burning, it uses all your body is eating all day it's eating your stored fat so you're good to go so that's why you're really not hungry much and if you're intermittent fasting which you should be eight hours of eating and 16 hours of fasting or doing 20 hours of fasting and only four hours of eating you're really kicking ass you know so at the end of the day should you count calories you don't have to but should you be aware of them yeah definitely you know what I mean? Figure out what your, you know, metabolic rate is, your, you know, how many calories you need to burn and everything. But like I said, I wouldn't go too crazy. If you notice you're not losing weight, uh, and I don't mean just on the scale, uh, if you feel like you're not losing weight, your clothes and everything, if you're not getting looser within a month, you might need to tweak things. You're probably eating too much. So keep that in mind. Uh, so if you have any questions, put it down below in the comments. I'll try and answer as many as I can. Um, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button right down below. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, I urge you all to subscribe for free down below. Hit the red subscribe button and turn on the little notification bell right to the right of it and select all uploads so you don't miss any of our future videos here. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching. And uh, until next time, stay focused, stay motivated, and don't quit because if you quit, you're just quitting on yourself and that's not cool. Don't, don't, you know, ruin all the hard work that you put in. So thanks so much for watching. Be well. Until next time, peace.